The Passover. In my story set, I take all ten plagues and put them over two stories. For the sake of these insights, I have taken the nine plagues and put them into the last insights so that I can totally focus on the Passover during this insight right here. Uh, looking at those nine, uh, the nine plagues, we see that all of them were natural, based on natural Egyptian pest, except uh, they were more intense. And they all happened within one month. And on top of that, uh, they were prompted by Moses. He started them and he stopped them. And all of them were uh, focused and directed towards Egyptian gods. Matter of fact, God says, I will execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt. But now we come to the Passover, the last plague. The entire focus for the nine plagues has been on Egypt. God was talking to the Egyptians, talking to Pharaoh. Now with this last plague, the death of the firstborn, He's not talking to Pharaoh anymore. He's not talking to the Egyptians. He's talking to the Israelites. He's preparing them for what's about to happen and how they should do it and how they should go through it, what they should do afterwards and what they should do years later. All the focus is on the Israelites. They were busy. They had to do a lot of multitasking during this time. They had to prepare to leave. They were, they were going to leave the home that they had been in for all those years and never return. They had to prepare for that. They also had to prepare for the night that God passed over them. Get their house ready and get everything just right because there were definite instructions that God said, I will be looking for these things. And then they had to prepare for that very first Passover meal. <laughs> it, was a, it was a busy time. When we talk about the Passover, we have to realize that it is, the, it is the bedrock of the Jewish faith, of the Jewish religion. It was the bedrock of their relationship with God. It's the, it, is the, it is the one thing that would hold the people together, no matter where they moved in the world. It's the one thing that they had in common and, and they held to. It was so important that God had them change their calendar. Their calendar was based upon what they thought was the month of creation. But now God said, no, no, this is so important. You are to base your calendar to begin on the month of Passover. Very important. The enemies of God and has devastated the Jewish faith by calling into question if the plagues and the Passover even happen. And they've convinced the Jewish people it didn't happen. And it had, that has destroyed their faith. Many Jews have become atheists and agnostic at the least. And, and, because, and all of that was focused on one time period, one period of time when they thought it should have happened right there. So they, that they have so focused on that area, and there's no evidence right there that it happened. Recently, historians have started looking 400 years before, and lo and behold, there it is. There's evidence there. Not only for the Passover, but so many other ancient events were based upon the same time period that they were looking at. Uh, uh, the movements of Abraham and Sodom and Gomorrah and the destruction of, of Jericho. But when you back it up 400 years, lo and behold, there it is. Amazing. Well, even in Christianity, we, uh, uh, we have deep roots into Passover. Christ himself, the, the Christmas shepherds, had to do with the Passover. 
the entire life of Christ surrounded various trips that he took to Passover. The Last Supper was a Passover meal. His death and resurrection surrounded Passover. Even, uh, uh, even details of, uh, of, of, of how everything happened was based upon Passover. And even today, our faith today, we, uh, uh, we, when we take communion and have the Lord's table, that's really a simplified Passover meal, remembering Christ. Well, so many more things we could say about Passover. It is so vital to Judaism and also to us that have a relationship with God through Christ. Come back when we give you more insights on the story.